engine trouble has an exhibition of domain of india engine trouble as an exhibition of domain of india malgudi days fits neatly into arkan narayan's literary evolution according to the author himself each of his stories displays a greater simplicity of plot and language even as they develop a greater complexity of meaning to exhibit the domain of india by the time narayan wrote malgudi days the crowded action of his early fantasies was replaced by introspections of indianness stripped to its essence and resonant with meaning engine trouble by arke narayan is truly an indian story of unlucky draw the meaning is developed through the characters especially the narrator who may be narayan's own unflattering self portrait like narayan the narrator is a middle class man struggling to rise above his origins although the narrator wants to adapt to the dominant middle class culture he remains profoundly attached to his own family sentiment narayan has a love for describing carnivals fairs and the expo story after story we find in ismal gridays being set in such an environment if not then we at least has a market scene engine trouble starts at a fair with the protagonist winning an engine m then goes through the azul and bazal of a marketplace for his evening walk an astrologer stays set in a bazaar and so is the trial of the green blazer which is set in a bazaar It seems Narayan situated most of the Malgudi stories on Malgudi public landmarks. Engine Trouble is beautifully written but in a way that rarely calls attention to itself. Engine Trouble starts with a line of breezy description of past Malgudi which continues to carry the story forward. Narayan never dresses up the narrative of his characters while perfectly natural. The narrative manages to convey the characters' attitudes with remarkable authenticity, such as the narrator's cheeky insecurity or pettiness. This subtle precision is a major concern of Narayan, who likens it to the craftsmanship valued by his working man and sisters. Just as the carpenter notices a wall that is a fraction of an inch out of plumb, The literary craftsman is sensitive to the slightest misuse of language although in either case no one else might realize there is anything wrong This is a story by Narayan which begins on an ironic note of how a prize won by a man proves to be an expensive edict A showman comes to Malgudi and brings with him his gaiety lad The Jamkana grounds are used for the festivities and the old town pours into the sea show. See the show. Our protagonist wins a road engine at a show. People gather around him looking at him as if he is some curious animal. Now the problem that rises is how to take the prize back home. The driver of the engine is an expensive one. and the suggestion of bringing in the municipality is not a good idea it's decided that the engine can stay on the jamkana grounds till the end of the season but the cost of meaning it on those grounds proved to be expensive for our protagonist a cattle show comes to town and he is given 24 hours time to remove it So a temple elephant and 50 coolies are hired to take it to a nearby field owned by a friend Joseph a dismissed bus driver comes in to help steer the engine hell breaks loose resulting in undue expenditure Narayan introduces a swami ji who performs various impossible feats and insists on having a road engine run over his chest the municipality does not know how to arrange for one 
Our protagonist becomes the hero of the hour by lending his engine for the fate. And in return, it would be driven wherever he wanted it to. It is Narayan's ability to bring forth the comic elements present in the most grave situations, which is commendable the figure of Swamiji, who wants to spread his master's word through his feet, he is brought under the light of humor to show how such things are still rampant in our country and how people's psyche is taking, taken advantage of by such people. Unfortunately, in the story, the law comes in between and the feat cannot be performed. Through the figure of a police inspector, the legality of doing such acts has been brought forward by Narayan where the inspector says that Swamiji can do anything except have potassium cyanide or have a rail engine run over him. It is a natural calamity that comes as a stroke of luck for our protagonist and solves all his problems. Again, Narayan shows the irony of how a calamity that claimed several towns based good tidings for the owner of the engine. An interesting comparison can be drawn with another story, Lolly Road, where the protagonist comes to own a British general statue and the troubles he has to go through to move the statue. In both stories, one sees Narayan commentary on the plight of his heroes is neither comic nor tragic. When his heroes sink to despair, it is probably Narayan's answer to how to go about with your life when you live in India. Malpuri Days shows Narayan learning one of, one of an author's most valuable and difficult lessons. What we can get by without saying. By every measure, the story is again step beyond the relative expanse to Indian atmosphere. The best example of Narayan's success is his ability to combine simple language and a few neutral things. Feathers and dust are noise in the attic to generate the tense, fairy land atmosphere that dominates engine trouble. So let's look at the multiple choice questions. Engine trouble is truly about unlucky draw. Gambling, fortune play, none. It's about unlucky draw. How a prize owned by a man proves to be dash. An expensive deck, a fortunate, lucky, unlucky. It proves to be an expensive edic. Who comes to remove engine? Is it Joseph? Coley's gambler or none. It's Joseph. Who comes unfortunately in between? Is it a police inspector, law, municipality? None. That's a police inspector. What comes as a stroke of luck? Is it earthquake, elephants, coolies, village people? It's earthquake. 